Hi, thanks for watching. This is a quick look at how Google views and ranks your website in the search results. By understanding how the program works, you can use it to your advantage to increase the traffic to your site by getting it on the first page, so that way you're the first click and the first call whenever anybody's searching. So I've got your website pulled up here, and the first problem I see is that it's not secure, meaning it doesn't have what's called an SSL certificate. That's a problem because a lot of web browsers will give this error message whenever you try to get to an unsecure site and people won't understand that they have to click advanced and then another button and they'll just go back to safety and they'll never actually be able to get to your site. As far as Google is concerned, when it's looking to rank a website, it's going to do so based on two factors. The first is the content. It's going to come in and it's going to count all the words and text on the page. It's basically looking for about 1,500 to 2,000 words as a minimum because it assumes that the more information you have on the page, the more of an expert you are in your field and the more likely it is to recommend you. Now, while it's counting, it's also looking for keywords, which would be anything that people would type into Google search. Now, that's usually gonna be a service that you offer and then the area that you offer it in. Now, this is where the number of words in the page particularly comes into play because you're only allowed to have one of those keywords for every 150 words of text on the page. Now, the second way that Google is going to rank your website is based on its authority, which is basically a popularity contest. Now, there's two ways to build authority for your site. The first is by getting what's called citations. That's any time that your name, address, and phone number appear in an online directory. Those directories include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. They're usually free. It just takes some time to find them, register your business, and then input the information exactly as it's shown in Google. The second way to build authority is through what's called backlinks. Now that's when another website links or refers back to yours. It basically acts as an endorsement that Google uses to build trust because others are vouching for you. You can kind of look at it similar to a customer review. If you had a thousand five-star customer reviews and a new customer was looking at you, they would assume that you're a pretty good business. Google is doing the same thing, except it's using other websites to make that judgment. Now, to see how this affects how your website ranks in the search, if we go back. The first thing that you're going to see pop up is what's called the map pack. This is actually a pretty important area to get into because anywhere from 40 to 60% of people will just click on one of these top three listings. Now it's free to be listed in here. You just need to fill out your Google business profile, which is inside your maps app. So you can do it right from a smartphone. When doing so, you want to fill out all the fields that you can, including the services that you offer, the areas you offer it in, and even the hours of operation. Then you want to continuously add photos that are geotagged within your service area and upload those as well as posts to the profile on a regular basis. Have customers leave reviews, and then you want to get as many of those citations as possible. Your name, address, and phone number, you want them listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. Then underneath that, this is what we call the organic search results. This is where the higher the authority or the more trust Google has in your site, the higher up in the list that you're going to rank. Now to demonstrate this, I put your website into this tool that I have, and it shows me all the information that Google finds on your site when it crawls it for both the content and the authority. Just to define these terms, if the local news station did an article on the top 10 best spray foam insulation companies in Massachusetts, and in that article there was a link that the reader could click and it would bring them to your website, that would be considered one referring website or one referring domain. So just to put a little context to these, what I've done is just taken the, the top uh, organic result in this list and just put them into that same tool and you can see what kind of authority that their website is bringing and the reason why they're showing up at the top of the list. Now just something to make note of here is it's not just a matter of the quantity of these links, it's also the quality. So they need to be relevant to your business. So for instance if we had Pizza Hut linking back to your website, Google understands that you're in the insulation business, you're not making pizzas, so even though that would add a number, it wouldn't actually add any authority to your site. So this is where we want to find any kind of posting or blogs or directories or articles, all that are in the home building, remodeling, renovations, construction, those types of fields. So that way they're relevant and bring authority and power to your site. Now, as far as content, Google is only picking up one word on your site. 
most likely it's because there isn't a whole lot of content on here. So you don't have enough words to be able to qualify to get more than that as far as a keyword. So this is spray foam insulation mass. The volume shows the number of times it's being searched per month. So right now it's being searched 60 times per month and you're in the 70th position, which means you're going to be either at the bottom of the seventh page or the top of the eighth, which unfortunately nobody's going to find you down there. If you were on the first page, 60 people would be seeing your website. We usually use a pretty conservative estimate and say 10% of those will turn into a lead and actually give you a call. Now, I don't know what the conversion rate is for your business, but let's say only half of those actually become customers. That'd be three customers per month just off having this one keyword and your website ranking on the first page. So what we would do is we would do some competitive research to find all the highest volume keywords that are being searched relative to your area and then also the services that you offer and then make sure that those will be included on your site. Now obviously each job has a little bit of a different uh, profit margin but you can see how if you were ranking and you had all these keywords on your site all these leads can definitely add up to some more revenue at the end of the month and at the end of the year. So I hope this information was helpful and it allows you to scale some of your online presence. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or you'd like me to go into any further detail. We could also talk about your goals as a business and I can do some research to find out what it would take for you to reach those. And I always appreciate getting feedback as well to find out if information like this is useful for you. So please let me know what you thought. Thanks and I hope this helps.